So now we will be finishing off this fair by doing her stomach. And I've done her stomach a different colour. I've done it the navy blue jelly, which is a dark which is darker than the ocean blue jelly. But I think in in the pictures and in the movie her stomach's actually lighter, but it, I thought it would look a bit strange with white, so I chose not to do that. Um, so just doing double band, going down. Okay. Oh, wait. Take it off. Um, <laughs> so we want to stop there and do it on this side too. Now I'm using for the horizontal bands of this ocean jelly blue so and we're doing it like so and the reason why I'm putting it on before is because it will give the effect I hope that her neck underside has scales on it so that's what I'm going for if you don't get it when they when it's been pulled off the loom So you just go down, keep on doing this, all the way down, pretty much. So we do one there, one on that side, one on this side. Double loop your horizontal band and place it. I'm just pushing it all down. Continue to go down. Okay. So you're just continuing to do this. Nearly there. Okay. Oh, wait. Then we want to go double loop down to there and double looped. Okay, now we've done that, we are going to get, I'm just pushing it all down, so that I can place my folding bands. So I'm getting my main body colour, which in this case is ocean jelly blue. First, I need to cap off this with my navy blue jelly. Sorry, forgot to do that before I came back to what I was saying. The body colour, you're going to lay the bands just on the pegs, every second peg. So, just like that. Yeah. Just on every second peg, you're laying these. Okay. And put some here, like that. Now you can loom it. So going down, and you just want to be careful when you're looming not to move the room loom around too much because otherwise it is going these our bands are placed on it are going to fall off. And 
don't um, catch any of those horizontal bands. I'm sorry if this is really seen the colours. Done that, and I'm going to bring up the other side. Oops. I'm just checking I've got all of my hiding bands in place quickly. Okay. Okay, now I've done that, we can get bands to tie it off. This is part like, we just need four parts to do. All of, there are four parts of the stomach and neck and tail that I need to do. Okay, have that, and I've got all of these random bands here, so you can just pull them out. Pull them out to the side. Okay, there we go. And then you should have the cool scales. Those kind of look like scales. Yeah, they look cool. <laughs> and so that's going to go eventually. We're going to place it on the underside of her um, neck. Now, just quickly, I need to count something, so I'll just be a moment. You can continue taking out these random bands if you haven't taken them all out already. Okay, so we're going to go, okay I've figured it all out, sorry about that, I was just trying to figure out everything, okay, so like the star of the stomach, we're just doing this, here, And we're going to go down two. Just need to check. I think I think I've got this right. Um, sorry, just <laughs> bear with me. So we're going down six times. I'm just really making sure that it matches up with the body because if it didn't, then that would, wouldn't be so cool. So we're going down six times. Oh, sorry. We need to put on these scale horizontal band design thing. So double loop, double loop. Okay, now we're going to put down two bands here, two bands here, double loop, put the scale, oops, um, two bands, two bands, double loop. Yep. 
you just keep, we're going to do this six times. I'll tell you when to stop. So we've done it three times now. Four. We're done. I think that's it. One, two, three. All right, I'll take off those. Okay. Got it. Okay, that should do. I'm just going to triple check. Sorry. Got it. So now you're going to get your, um, like, what was it? This neck piece here. And you first, actually, we're going to lay out, scratch that first. We're going to lay out these body pieces. So you're going to put them there, 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 and there. Every two pegs. There and there. Okay. Right, we've done that. So it's on this big, this big, this big, this big, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, they each have a band laid over them. Um, we are going to attach it so that you've got this side with these bits. And this side, so you're going to attach the side when you pull it all out. That it, okay, wait. You see how it curves? You're going to attach it curved upwards. Yeah. Okay, you're going to attach it curved upwards. Um. I'm really sorry if my explaining skills haven't been very good. This is, after all, my first tutorial, so it's not definitely not my first Rainbow Room design, but okay. Uh, we're gonna go up here. Just going to continue learning. Okay, and then we're going to get the attaching bands and tie it off. Tying off those five ends. Nearly done. Okay, and bam. See what I mean? It can be any colour, doesn't really matter. Okay. Now we are going to pull it off the loom. Okay. And your neck should look something like this. There we go. There is a gap. Sorry. But you can pull out all the bands. 
Yeah. Well, she's an idea. Um, no one remembers. Okay. Um, so you've got your neck and start of the body. Um, I'm just going to pull these out, these two. Holding bands. Okay, and you have that neck area. Okay, set that aside. And we are now going to do the main body. So, I'll just quickly assess. Just thinking. Just a moment. Just a minute. Okay, so it should go. Start from the end. Just thinking. I'll be sorry. I haven't drawn out a plan or design for a stomach, so I'm just kind of winging it. But it'll look. Okay, so we're going to do in our stomach colour, three, well, I mean two bands, one there, and there, and we'll do an optic one triangle, uh, let's do it this way actually, uh, I think I got this right. Yeah, okay, got it. Um, going down again. Um, once more. And also, these horizontal bands that I'm putting down are the double um, ocean, double body color. Um, then we're going to go down two, down two. Uh, Actually, take off that band and go inwards, inwards. Then we're going to get three of the stomach color, another three, and we're going to go out two. Oh no, is it going to the center? And two again. Oh. Okay, wait, scratch that. Okay, and we're going to go down, out, out again. Down, put on a horizontal band, out again, out again, oh wait, leave that, okay, put it there, and we'll put that there, okay, there we go. I know it's looking strange now, that's because in between her legs it's quite thin, so that's why that's like that. Okay, go down once on every column with two bands. And 
then we'll get our horizontal bands. We're using double. Um, like so. slow process but you get and you're making upside down triangles don't forget Really know what we're going to go. And then it's here, and then it's here. Put a horizontal band like that. Up again. Uh, up one. Band and then out and down. Two bands here. That can't be done. Actually, I will do that. Two bands. Yeah, two horizontal bands here. And go down two. Okay. And yep, that should do. Okay. So getting our neck thing. Again, the way it curves, putting it curved upwards, because we will see how it curves. Curved upwards. Um, Boolean. And once you have done that, we are going to lay out the bands, you know, that we lay out. So just put push down those outside bands I'm doing. Then we're going to lay a band here. Oops, dropping the layer of cloth there. Every second peg there, there. So I'm going to lay two there, there. And there, bands, there we go, there, and I've laid two on here, so there's two bands, there, there, and there, okay. Um, and now, I believe we can loom it. Yep. Okay, so... I'm going to go straight up the middle to start off with. Okay. Okay, wait. 
You're going to stop. Stop at this peg. Um, going down there. Then up here. Then up. Sorry, I bet you didn't see any of that. Okay, um, what I just did there, I'm sorry if that went off screen. Um, I loomed up that one and that one, and now I've gone up here. Go that way. And we're going to do this side now. So looming up this one. Careful not to catch that horizontal band there. Okay, we're going to go out, looming up, okay, um, Continuing up the loom. Careful not to grab those horizontal bands. And plus, because it's all jelly, it's a bit slippery. I apologize. Now we're going to loom that one. Then this one. Then this one. Oh, it fell off. Oops. Okay, wait. I'm just going to undo that quickly. Fell off. You don't have to, of course. One of my holding bands fell off these ones, so I'm just gonna put it back on. Sorry, but hoping that nothing else is getting in. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys, you don't have to do anything like this. This is just me being silly. Um, okay. Okay. Now, bring and loom. Okay. Now, you've done this whole portion. What you're going to do All three of these bands, make sure you get all three. And we're going up, oops. Okay. And then grabbing the top two, looming it. Top two. And we'll loom up this one and then the Oh yes, yeah. so also make sure just now that you haven't missed none of the holding bands that you lay on before have fallen off. Just because they'll be annoying when you come to attach it. But you can always sort of just attach like it's too hard to explain, but don't worry if you don't if you miss it, it's okay. Um, I just went to see the 
Hobbit Rebel Five Armies, which oh my god, was it amazing? Um, I'm definitely gonna make a Smaug, I think. I think I'm gonna make him for one of the next tutorials because that would be so much fun. He will be so massive. And well, comment if you've gone to see that movie and liked it, I guess. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, pulling it off. Okay. This is what your stomach should look like. A bit strange, yes. Scales are a bit off, but just. They look a bit strange, don't they? Oh. I'm just going to leave them. Um. I don't really care, I guess. I do care, but. Yeah, they're not too bad. Just spread it out evenly. And they look okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. It's okay. They look okay. If you just do that. Yeah, they look better now. Okay. They looked a bit strange before. Okay then. And pull out all of the holding bands that you've got. Okay. And the reason why I did it this way is when you go to place it on her stomach. It'll be a lot easier just to get it to fit. Yeah, so she won't be completely like that. Okay, now we're just going to do a little bit from the tail. Um, okay, I'm in. So we're going to do dark bands, one, two, and this is in triple bands, sorry, triple of your belly coloured bands, three, double looped out, there, and there. And we're going down, just checking something. Okay, got it. Going down there and there. Um, I am going to do scales for the underside of our tail. I think it'll look cool. You don't have to. If you don't want to do scales, you place the horizontal bands after you've placed all the navy blue ones. Um, not like I'm doing it right now while you're placing it. We're just doing it all the way to the bottom. Nearly there. And last one. Now we're going to get, oh, wait, we are going to from do double looped from here and double looped to here. Okay, now we are going to attach this bit, so have it so all the scale this bit is facing here. Actually, Okay, I'll keep it that way. So 
have all the scales facing down. Um, what I've just realized is if you really don't like the scales on the side, you can attach her stomach so that this plain side is on the outside, which I think I may end up doing because I don't really like the scales that much. I don't think they look very appealing. So I'm going to do it that way, I think. But I'll show you when it comes to it and you'll get it. Sorry. <sighs> I make no sense. Um, so attaching it with the weird scaly bit facing down. And also I forgot to say before, I think, that you also want to get the holding band as well. When you're going through those four bands, you also want to get that holding band, which is placed there. Don't worry if you mess it up. Um, um, no, whoops. Now we're going to place our the holding band, so we're going to go this peg, every second peg, and on this peg we're going to place two, and on this peg we're going to place two. Okay, and then coming back down. Okay. Um, now we can loom it. So I am going. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay then. So I'm going to loom these middle ones here. I'm just pulling it back so I can get to it. Um, oh. Hard. Looming it. There. Don't worry if it's kind of strange, it will work. Get my looming back there. Okay, now we can loom up. And then this is the last bit that will loom for Safira. Yay! She'll be done. I just need to attach this down the top. Oh yeah, and what like I was saying before, with the Hobbit, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Middle Earth series. So have Smaug and the Eagles. Maybe I'll do the Orcs and Wugs, which are the wolves that they ride. You know, um, maybe a Gollum, Bilbo. Oh, Bayon the bear. He's pretty cool. You know, just because. I'm really sad. I'm a big Hobbit fan, and that's the last Middle Earth movie that Peter Jackson's making. So, I think I might make a whole Middle Earth series, which would be pretty cool. Oops. Keep on seeing these two things. And you can comment if you think that's a good idea that I make a bunch of Middle Earth stuff. Okay, now we're going to tie this off. Now this tie, this band we're using to tie it off, it has to be the um, the tummy colour, which is navy blue jelly for me. Just because, again, we're going to actually, nope, it's not going to be that colour. Take that off. And take that back, it is going to be your main body colour, the ocean blue. Okay, tie it off, and then we'll pull it off. Okay, awesome. So now I'm going to pull out the holding bands to the sides like so. Um, with these bits at the end, pull one out to each side. There we go. Okay, so we have that. So you can choose to use this side or this side if you want all the scales. I think I'm going to use this side just because I feel as if the scales are a bit much. Um, so I'm going to first um, 
going to take off these holding bands just because they're going to get annoying because once I've attached them, I may not be able to take them off. Okay, there we go. Right, I think what I'm do, going to do quickly is turn the light on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I thought the lights weren't on, but they are. Okay. Yeah. See, <laughs> the shadows. Uh, I'm sorry if this is really hard for you to see, because I can't do anything about the lighting in here. And I also live in the city, so city noises are going to happen. And I'm sorry if they've if you've had any that have bothered you. It's been pretty good though. Um. Okay, I'm still taking off all these holding bands. Yep, okay, I got them all. So, this is what it should look like. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get your Sephira and lay her um, face up like this, like so. Spread out her legs and just everything so that you can... So we're going to start with the neck. Start with the neck here. Place it on the side you want like that so it all aligns and you're going to place it down her body so that it all matches up there we go and you see why we did the weird shape thing just so that her legs could fit her legs and yeah okay so now that you've got it sort of positioned where you want it to um you can start attaching it. So how you do this is you can place it where you want and then you find bands that are in a really similar position and you go through them and grab that holding band and pull it through. Okay, so that's our first one that we've done. So here with this bit, these band, these two here, these two bands seem to be in a similar position like as to where I want it to be hooked in. Okay, and you just do that down it. It doesn't really matter which bands you go through, just as long as they're in a similar position to where you want it to be placed, really. That's all that matters. Um, I'm going in every second set of bands, because that's where my... You know how when we were placing on these bands that now stick out. I was putting them on every second peg, so yeah. So I'm just going to do that. Um, I've done a bunch of them, so I'm going to get, uh, not yet, okay. I'm going to do the other side of the neck now, um, just quickly. Oh, I'll keep on going from this side. Just try and pull them out a lot because you don't want them coming back up. And if you get the gist of what I'm doing, you can just zoom ahead and um, keep on pulling the bands through. Okay, 
just going to stop there for the moment. Okay. So I'm just pulling them out again so that they don't come undone. Because that wouldn't be fun either. Um, and now we're going to go on this side. Just kind of flick the bands out. Okay. Okay then. So you're still going in and putting it here. Okay, and this is the way that I like to attach my um, watch my my stomachs and necks, um, just because I could loom it on, I guess, but that would make it a lot harder and complicated. So um, I just attach stuff this way. Okay, we're just, I'm just going to stop there, and I'm going to grab the last band that I did here, which is right by the shoulder area. I'm going to go this bit, again, part of how you attach it. Hook the next band through. So I'm just going to grab that next band that I pulled through, and just pull it through like this. Hook it and pull it through. Hook it and pull it through. Hook it. Like so. There we go. Okay, and we're just going round the neck by hooking and pulling it through. And don't forget to go through that round that top band. Okay. Is there a pull through? Them around. Hook it, pull it through, pull it through. Okay, um, I think I'm just gonna put a C clip on that. Okay, so now you should have the stomach attached, and then she is done. Uh -huh. Um, sorry, my computer ran out of battery, so it cut off in the middle of attaching the stomach. But pretty much you just continue doing what I was showing you to do all the way around. And what I did was I clipped it off with a C-clip. Yeah. So that's all you need to do. I'm really sorry about that. I can't be bothered taking the stomach off and redoing it. Um, so once you've done that, you have a completed dragon. Here we go. I'll just show you her. Underside. This is our head. Yeah, so hope you had fun making her. Hopefully, she wasn't too difficult either. And I will see you in my next tutorial, which will most likely be a Smurf. Thank you. Bye.